We had built this place for our residential treatment center. It's kind of a community center place we call the clubhouse. One morning about 9.30, I drive up and see one of our guys walking up the street all by himself. He's been clean and sober for about a year. And I say, Gord, where are you going? He says, uh, downtown, David, I've had it. Don't try to stop me. He says, you're going downtown for what, to open a law office? He says, that's very funny, man. I'm going to score. I say, oh, great, the old fuck it mechanism is cut in, and you're going to reward yourself with some heroin. Yeah, that's a really great plan. I says, look, before you do all that, can I ask you a question, Gord? He says, what, what, what's the question? Tell me. I says, hey, look, just one question. He says, okay, ask already. I says, how much do you weigh? What the fuck? What are you talking about? I said, just tell me. He says, I weigh 150 pounds, Dave, more or less. You satisfied? So I said, well, I don't know. I'm seeing this scale, and I'm seeing you, Gord, on one side of the scale. You're weighing in at 150. You've got two arms, two legs, two lungs, two balls, a heart, one tiny little dick, legs to walk, uh, ears to listen, mouth to chew and talk, and occasionally a brain to organize all this stuff. Yeah, so, so what? I said, but on the other side of the scale, I'm seeing about a tenth of a gram of inert dead white powder, this dust, this brainless, gutless, soulless dust, this murderous garbage, and the thing is, this garbage is now winning. So, I'm sorry, but that doesn't make a lot of sense for me. I mean, I can't for a second make any sense out of this picture. It just sort of violates every principle I know, okay? So I get back in my car, and I go around to the back of the building, and I sit there for a minute, and I start crying, because I think, you're such an ass. You just, you just blew it. You're being so damn clever. And then I go through the building, and I come back downstairs, and guess who's sitting in the chair waiting for a new interview but Gord? He moved back in. He stayed for another year. I've run into him several times ever since. Never went back to jail and never went back to heroin. He says to me, you know, Dave, I have a beer occasionally. What's the pickle? The pickle is sometimes you just have to trust your gut and roll the dice. I tell you, baby, when it works, it's a beautiful thing.